Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for One Piece Chapter 810. Now, in this chapter of One Piece, okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a rant, but we had more flashbacks. Alright, I've said this to a couple of people off air, a couple of friends. This is getting ridiculous. We have been getting flashbacks since Chapter 800. Oda, I don't care how many breaks you take, but this is atrocious. Uh, it had been flat back. It says, what Hoopa name thought it would be ours? Jack? I think it's Jack. Where's my confirmation? I'm sick of it. I want actual new content. Oh, we're getting in flatbacks. And flatback after flatback. They're interesting and hype flatback. Jack, 100 mil- 100, 1 billion. I'm so used to saying 100 million. Jack, the pirate with a one billion merry bounty. This guy is hype. But guys, I'm sorry, it's a load of bullcrap. It really is. There is no reason in this in this world that we should still be having flashbacks and still not know what happened to Sanji. I said it in my live reaction. It is very possible that we're going to get to see where Sanji is in Chapter 811. That is very, very possible. Unlikely, but it is possible. I don't see it happening, but I also do. It's really hard to explain. I see it. I, I don't see it happening based on the way it would have been trolling us, but I see it could happen. But then again, it could have happened in 807. And Oda trolled us with that. I've got a lot to say about this chapter. Okay, but there were a couple things. I would, I love the the one line the manga dream translation. So I'm gonna ask you guys, who wants to who wants to get crucified in jail? <laughs> I don't know what manga dream was thinking with the crucified in jail line. And if you don't know what that means, just go look up Netflix and chill. You'll understand everything then. But be careful. You don't want your parents looking at the history on your computer when you type that in. Just trust me, alright? Then you're probably gonna get the porn. The point I'm trying to make here, and that, uh, this is really frustrating, is that the chapter was great, alright? It just annoyed me that we're still getting flashback. I think the flashbacks are over. I think we're done with them. But now that I got my mini rant out of the way, let's really talk about the chapter. Now. The first thing I want to talk about, and I am very happy about this, Jack. I'm so happy Jack got in the moment to shine. Jack beat the Duke and Nekomamushi, and cr he tied them to crosses and crucified them. I love it. I'm like, yes! Prove that you're awesome, Jack. Prove to these losers how great you are. Prove to the fan that we have been underestimating you. That you are the greatest. The people have been underestimating Jack. BDA has said it multiple times, and I agree 100% with him. Jack is being underestimated. Jack is one of the kind of most trusted men. He is a big, 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 big deal. Alright, big deal. But, one of the things I want to say here is, in that Jack destroyed them. Jack was dominating. Also, we got our first look at his full body design. I really do like it. But the chapter itself was a lot of fighting. They revealed how the poison gas spread throughout the island. And we also did get to see the straw hats arrive on though. That was very interesting to see them all arrive and react to the island being a, di a giant elephant. But there were a couple things in the chapter, like, you know, um, what was it? Okay, it was this one line from, uh, Nami when she told Brooke to take care of it. I'm like, really, Nami, why are you leaving us to Brooke? Now, I've been trying to stay out of this debate that BDA and Fifth Dunn have been having, but you know what? No. And all these other guys, no. I'm getting involved. I, and I agree with BDA. Brooke, Brooke isn't that strong. I think Chopper could have beaten that guy... Probably. I think, think Chopper probably could have beat him. If Chopper couldn't do it, if he teamed up with Nami, they could have won. Right, people disagree with me. I think if Nami and Chopper teamed up, they could defeat Brooke. 
and that people are going to d disagree with me on that, but you know what, that is my opinion, and I have facts to back it up. And I do have a lot of versus matches coming up through One Piece. Ironically, all of them involve the Straw Hats being compared to each other. I'll, I will give away my uh, next one right now, because I kind of already have talked about it. It is a uh, Nami versus Usopp. Why Usopp is the weakest member of the Straw Hat Pirates. Yeah, that's going to be a video. But, yeah. But, what I, what I want to say about this chapter mainly is that it was really good. I really enjoyed it. You can tell I enjoyed it through the live reaction. I was speeding through it. Shortest live reaction I've ever had, actually. Did I read it so quickly? And it went by really fast. It just... I didn't feel like it really pushed the story forward. And I didn't really think there was anything in it to make up for that. I'm being as critical as I can here. That I would... Overall... I just, I want to go somewhere with the story, alright? I want to go somewhere. I'm trying to think of a good thing to say about the chapter, but I can't. The, even though it was a good chapter, it was, none of it was in the present time. It was, I felt the same way with the law flashback. It was in a, it's a great flashback. And you know what? It was way too damn long. That thing could have been like 30 chapters, like 20 chapters shorter. That thing was way too long, and it was there at the wrong time. Same thing with this flashback. And I think Oda thinks that by going in and out of flashback, he can, you know, per stop us from getting annoyed. If working with some people, it's not working with me. Now, I will, if I had to read the chapter, I would give it a 10 out of 10. And I bet you're wondering, but I'm ranting about it. Yeah, I am, but overall, it was a good chapter. It really was. I'm just sick of flashback. But besides the flashback, if, if I'm just judging this chapter as a story as a whole, it was amazing. We found out a lot. We found out who is, we found out that Jack was stronger. We found out that you know by a good good margin. We found out why the Straw Hat stayed them. I really did like that. I really did like how we learned how the Straw Hat did stay them. One of the things I uh, noticed in this chapter, the reason the Straw Hats are considered heroes is because the reason Jack left though and stopped torturing crucifying and burning and just killing all the minks was none other than Monkey D. Luffy defeating Don Quixote Go Flamingo because he was under order from Kaido to go get him back. And as we know, Jack is said to have failed in that mission. I don't buy that for a damn minute. There is no way in hell Jack failed. I'm sorry, it just, it can't be, there's no way Jack failed, I'm sorry, there's no way Jack failed. I think it, Jack is being hyped up way too much to have been defeated on screen, Oda isn't Taite Kubo. Oda is not Taite Kubo, he's not going to defeat a, a very hyped up character on screen, he's not going to do it. I don't, Oda will never do that. He will skip a, he, will, he won't show us something. But I don't see him skipping an entire antagonist. The defeat off screen. But guys, if I, I, I had to rate this chapter, I would probably rate it a 10 out of 10. Because when I first read it, that, when I originally read the chapter and did my live reaction, I gave it a 10 out of 10. And I said, I don't think more about the, I'm actually not even going to title this a review. I'm not going to title it Rambling. It's going to be me rambling about what I thought about the chapter, but you know what? I, I couldn't put a detailed review together, yet I didn't know what to think of this. I'm also very upset about something about something going on right now. A little annoyed. I may have been, I'm going to have a video coming out later tonight about it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.